That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Ozu was caught as someone who gives away a lot to charity. And I know he's, I've heard he pays a lot for like people's surgeries and kids and stuff like that. So people don't know what people are doing with their money. Like just because someone is well paid doesn't mean they can afford to just give money away because you don't know what they're doing with that money in the first place. You don't know, you don't know how many people are depending on them. Like they could, they could be paying for loads of people's health, mortgages, stuff like that. So you can't turn around and, and try and dictate how someone spends their own money. So so for them to turn around and be like, oh, Erzul doesn't isn't giving money away and people are trying to slate him for it. That's just, I think that's uncalled for. And I saw as well, I don't understand why people from, let's say, a less financial earning status go off on people with a lot of money, like as if it's their responsibilities to pay for everyone else. And I, like, for example, Idris Elba was talking about how people of, like, let's say the farming and agriculture sector will be struggling during this period and so on. And yet all I see in the comments is like, oh, well, you got enough to pay for them. Why didn't you help them out? It's just like, firstly, how do you know that he isn't? Exactly. Secondly, it's not his responsibility just because he's just because he's made a name for himself earned his money doesn't mean he d- he can't have an opinion or a thoughts about how other others might be struggling like I don't understand why people feel the, the need to make people feel bad about their own success or their own income. Like, what's that all about? I've just been seeing too much of that. I think sometimes people realize that just because what someone shows you isn't necessarily everything or it's most of the time it's not everything. So you might think someone has loads of money or you might have heard that they earn this amount, this amount of money or they have this, this has how much they're worth. That doesn't necessarily mean that they have that as disposable cash. Some people could be, some people could have their own businesses. And if you're telling them to suddenly give like 25 percent of their money away that means they can't pay their own staff so you can't turn around and be like oh yeah you earn a lot of money so you should give away this much but then what about the other people who are depending on me what about my staff that i pay what about this person what about that person like and even roy Keane was even like roy Keane. i saw a video where he's literally like he doesn't think if he was a top if he was a player at a top club he wouldn't take a pay cut because when these billionaires who own these clubs have they're the first to remind you that this is a business so why are they going to now? So why are they now turning around? What now in this situation and trying to tell people to take a pay cut when if it was the other way around, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. If if there's a contract, right? Let, let's put it this way. Say for example, and I'll give an example actually because that I watched this week. Say actually, none of them just use the real the real life example that I that I know of. So I don't know if anyone has watched The Last Dance on Netflix. It's about Michael Jordan and the Bulls in 1990s, right? So Scotty Pippen was one of the best players in the league around that time. Literally, like he was literally number two to Michael Jackson. So one of the top players in the league. Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan? Michael Jackson. Sorry, Michael Jordan. Sorry, people. So, right. So, Scotty Pippen, one of the best players in the league at that time. Second to Michael Jordan. He has a rubbish contract, right? He signed a rubbish contract when he first, like, when he signed. Now that the Bulls are killing it, he's one of the best players in the league. Dude, he, he even asked for a, a pick. They said, nah, that's the contract, bro. You, you can't get it. Do you know what I mean? So, if in good times, and Roy Keane said this, if the, if the, like, their clubs are going through good times like that, these, they're not going to turn around and be like, oh yeah, we're going to, they're not going to just part away with their money voluntarily like that so if they if you have a contract to honor they should just honor it don't turn around and tell me that oh uh, can you please take a pay cut because this this and that because they they believe me they can afford it so people trying to make us feel bad when he has when he has people depending on him and he's trying to do help other people what about the other people that he's that he's um that he's focusing on um and trying to help that's not fair on them so people should basically basically the moral of the story right mind your business don't pocket watch other people's money and yeah stay safe and stay inside so what we're saying is is that Urza was not a tit? No, not at all. Not at all. And this is coming from someone who hates Arsenal, by the way, guys. I yeah, not a fan. But he's I rate Urza for what he does because he helps a lot of people. What do you think, Rahi? Oh, do you know what though? He 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 helps out a fair amount, and then that reminds me of Ambi Khan. I just saw a funny video with him, right? Oh, uh, so he is dropping food boxes off to the elderly, and <laughs> like he's the guy's wearing gloves and everything, yeah. <laughs> And he knocks on the first lady's door. You're supposed to be self distant My guy walks right into their house to drop off the box. Oh I'm just days. like, come on, bro. <laughs> nah, he's a funny guy though. Like massive respect. Like, he's he's been is as part of the charity foundation he set up. He was going out and donating boxes of food to the elderly and vulnerable. But yeah, I just found Big that funny. Up. Big him up. Yeah, he big up. I mean, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Let's give him a clip. Okay, clap, clap.